leading President Biden in the polls, but trailing in fundraising. Trump at the same event on Saturday says he took in more than $50 million. He pledged that if he returns to the White House, he will extend tax cuts that benefit the wealthiest Americans, including those who paid big money to attend that fundraiser. National correspondent Bianca Faschini has more. Just over $50 million. That's how much former President Donald Trump's campaign said it brought in at a fundraiser Saturday night. The rich people want it, poor people want it, everybody wants change, the country is really doing poorly. The inaugural leadership dinner was hosted by billionaire hedge fund manager John Paulson in Palm Beach, Florida. In a statement, the Republican National Committee said, quote, It's clearer than ever that we have the message, the operation, and the money to propel President Trump to victory on November 5th. The hall is nearly double what President Biden recently collected at a fundraiser in New York City, featuring former presidents Bill Clinton and Barack Obama. But Biden wasted no time responding. This campaign is Scranton versus Palm Beach. This is a grassroots campaign of nurses and teachers and firefighters and cops versus Donald Trump and a couple billionaires looking for a tax cut. The president added his campaign has raised $187 million in just the first quarter of the year alone. Saturday's event is welcome news for the Trump campaign, which has struggled to keep up with the Biden team's fundraising numbers so far in this election cycle. Bianca Vicini, Scripps News, Washington. Trump's fundraiser did little to close the fundraising gap with President Biden, whose campaign raised more than $90 million in March alone. The Biden campaign and the Democratic National Committee reported Saturday they ended the first quarter of 2024 with $192 million in cash on hand. That's more than $100 million than Trump's campaign chest, Trump raising $65 million in March.